I've been studying bottom trawling and its impacts on marine life for something over 10 years at this point. Bottom trawling is a form of fishing whereby a huge net with a weighted bottom with these huge doors is pulled across the seafloor. As we drag these nets across the seafloor, it crushes everything in its pathway and it just, you know, the corals, the sponges, anything that sticks up above the seafloor just gets flattened as the trawl moves along the seafloor. The importance of this expedition is to find these sites where there's a lot of coral and sponge, especially the coral because we've, in British Columbia, made some progress in protecting some of the sponges, but the coral sites have not been identified and we need to protect those sites as well because a lot of these areas on the seafloor are the homes for commercially important fish. They're sometimes the nurseries, they are also the places where these fish spawn, and typically there's a, there's a dynamic between, you know, where do they want to fish, they don't really want to fish right in the main coral, uh, where they would snag their nets on the coral, but they also want the fish that are associated with those areas. So we've been very concerned that trawling in general does a lot of damage to the seafloor as it moves across these habitats. We were able to go to one site in the mid Moresby Gully and dive on that site where there was notice that uh, indeed it is a heavily trawled ground. One of the, the scientists who was in the submarine at that time came back and said, well, it looks like the seafloor has been plowed right here. Now the work will be to go back and share this work with the managers um, and other people involved in conservation along the British Columbia coast and protect these sites from future impacts.